I'm going to demonstrate performing a PSID revert using a utility called Sedutil within the Windows operating system. So this utility will work with both Samsung and Crucial SSDs and it also works with this USB 3 to SATA adapter and I'm going to use this with the Samsung SSD. Okay, so you'll need to know what your PSID is and this is on the label of your SSD. So go ahead and take a picture of it before starting. In this case, because I'm using the USB 3 to SATA adapter, it's hanging out the system and I can read the label directly. Okay, so if I just right click the start button and select device manager, then what we can do is expand disk drives. So I've just got the internal SSD showing. And when I plug in the Samsung SSD with the adapter, the following shows. So it doesn't say it's a Samsung SSD. It just shows information about the adapter. Okay, so on the download page for Sedutil, we're told that we require the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable. However, in my case, I didn't need it. So I'll just ignore this and I'll extract the Sedutil from the XE. And what I want to do is I want to go to the Win32 folder and then release and then copy the Sedutil-CLI and for ease, I'm going to copy it directly into System32. Okay, so let's select continue. And now what we need is the command prompt. So if we just go to start and type in CMD and right click it, we can select run as administrator. Okay, so this will open an elevated command prompt. And because we're in the correct folder, we can just directly type in sedutil dash cli and then space and then dash dash and then scan. So here we want to know what is the number of our drive. So our drive is one. That's a Samsung SSD. I'm not too sure what the 12 is, but it's not the drive number. So we're using the drive number one. So we can query the drive to get some more information about it. So we type in sedutil dash cli space dash dash query and then type in the following with the drive ending in the drive number which is one. Okay, so now what we want to do is perform the PSID revert. So once again, we type in sedutil dash CLI and then space dash dash. And now what we're going to type in is yes, I really want to erase all my data using the PSID. And be careful with the cases here. I is capitalized, erase is capitalized, and the A in O is capitalized. Uh, the PSID is also capitalized, and the actual PSID on your label is likely all in capitals. The PSID is quite long, so just make sure you've got this typed in correctly. And then after this, press space. And then once again, select the drive and use the correct number. Press enter and the reversion should be complete. And that's it done. You can now just close the command prompt.